Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back. Um, second show, second show. Uh, we're going to get into the, the uh, matchroom signings of Regis and uh, Andy Cruz uh, from Cuba, the two-time gold medalist. But before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog on all forms of social media. Quick hits comes at you every day uh, to keep you up to date. On the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors, please also subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All right, let's get into all proceeds from that channel. Go to Autism Research and Recovery. All right, let's get into uh, the matchroom signings. Uh, we'll get we'll get into the world champion Regis Progray first. Uh, WBC 140 pound world champ, who I say is the most uh, avoided man in boxing. Um, Reads his progray. Um, he's coming off his stoppage. Lost to Ho- stopping Jose Zepeda. His stoppage win. I'm sorry, of Jose Zepeda. Um, he's had it rough. You know, he's got Zepeda. Um, and other than that, he's really, really been avoided. He fought Ty- Tyrone McKenna, Ivan Redcash, uh, you know, different different guys like that. Um, he fought uh, Juan Geraldez. Uh, I think that was. Uh, yeah, that was a PBC card, uh, Tank Davis and uh, Leo Santa Cruz, uh, I believe. Um, and that's what he has since the uh, top, uh, since the Taylor loss in, in 2019. Uh, so he fought once in 2020, once in 2021, and twice in 2022. Uh, hopefully he fights uh, twice in uh, 2023 as well. I think he will. He's getting Liam Paro, who is a good fighter. Um, he's, Liam Paro is a good fighter. Uh, it might not be the biggest name, uh, but he he's twenty three and oh, um, Southpaw. Uh, you know he's not known for his power, but his best win is a first round KO of Brock Jarvis. So I I don't think it's fair to say he can't hit. He's also got a split decision victory, very close decision over Yomar uh, Alamo, um, who beat Kendall Castaneda, who's a pretty good fighter. Um, and, and those are real. And then everything else, I was he Australian, New Zealand, Australian, doesn't matter. Um, you know, the problem with, it's not a problem with Regis. I, I think Regis is skill wise, talent wise, is one of the best pound for pound fighters in the world, probably in the top five. He just, they won't fight him. He's the most avoided man in the sport. We just saw what happened with, uh, with, with Ramirez. Ramirez wouldn't fight him. They just won't fight him. You, you know, Lou DeBella talked about this after, even after the Josh Taylor fight, he couldn't get a call. No one would fight him. Um, I, I mean, Regis is about as good as they get. You know, I thought Regis won the tail fight. It was very, very close. I, I told Regis uh, it was backstage at the Hooker Ramirez fight um, not to fight Taylor in Scotland. Um, and, you know, he said fight him anywhere. He did. Uh, I, I, I figured if it was close, he wouldn't get a decision. It was very close, and he didn't get a decision in, in, in what was an excellent fight, but he just came up sh- a little short. According to the judges, um, the question becomes: Can Eddie Hearn get him anything big? You know, um, look, Taylor's gone out of the division. I, I would imagine it after this next fight, um, and Ramirez isn't fighting him. So, what other names would you like to see him fight? You know. Um, I, to me, Regis is the best guy in the division. Um, you know, Taylor obviously has something to say about that. Uh, Tiafima Lopez um, and Barbosa. I mean, Tiafima Lopez is a name, but Tiafima Lopez is going to lose to Taylor. I- I'm calling that right now. And when he does, he kind of goes by the wayside, right? I mean, he's not 
I don't want to say by the wayside, but he's not going to be in that conversation. And then the other names, Gary uh, Antoine Russell, uh, Super Reed Matias. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll see what happened with Puello. Um, Those guys are over on the PBC side. From what I heard, PBC didn't make much of an offer, or at least I, I, I don't know. Um, so what does Eddie Hearn have? You know, he's got some young kids. He's got and uh, Dalton Smith, Andy Dalton, Dalton Smith. He's got Richardson Hitchens. He's got Montana Love. Um, Steve Spark, who just lost, I, I suppose. Although, you know, no one really thinks he lost that fight. Uh, I, the other name, I, you know, the, the guy that Spark lost to, Gabriel uh, Golot. Yeah, uh, these are the names he's got. Can you help me with that name, by the way? Um, but, I mean, these are the names he's got. It's it's not – it's going to be rough for, for, for Pro Gray. Right? I, I, I think Pro Gray is a Hall of Fame talent, a Hall of Fame ability. He's just not – it's like Laura. They're just not going to fight him, and he can't get those big names. And, and – I don't want to say Taylor was a robbery, but I, I thought Pro Gray won that fight. If he wins that fight, he's a pound for pound cat. He's pound for pound, and he just it just didn't it didn't go his way with that decision. Um, as far as Andy Cruz, boy, is one thirty five going to be a division now? I mean, <laughs> I imagine Andy Cruz is going to be a lightweight. I mean, I, I haven't heard any confirmation of that or what weight class he's going to be moving up in, but ultimately. You know, we, we want to see the fight with Keyshawn Davis. How that gets made with top rank, I don't know, but it, it's a good spot for him. Uh, I think this is a good move for uh, for Andy Cruz. Um, you know, they're, they're, he's got names that he can fight. Um, you know, the thing about Andy Cruz is who's going to keep him active, who's going to move him up, right? That That's really the question. You know, Top rank is going to give him a top rank diet. Uh, again, I don't know if PBC has any interest in him. I, I don't know what PBC is doing right now. I'm not I'm just saying. Um, and, you know, this is an Eddie Hearn kind of guy. He's an Eddie Hearn kind of fighter. He, you know, as a Cuban, he's not going to have a naturally huge fan base. So Eddie can bring him over to England, have him fight there. He can have him fight in the U.S. He, Eddie can keep him busy is my point. He can keep him busy, step him up. Um And, and and move him along. You know, he, he can have fight those British level guys who, who are good fighters, decent fighters, you know. Um just keep him winning. Just keep him winning. Uh yeah, these are names that yeah, he's a little different, right? Like 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 Regis Progress is 34 years old. He's a world champion, he's fighting time. You want to get him those big fights now. With with Cruz. It's, it's a different story. You know, you want to get him wins. You, you want to move him along quickly. You, you probably want to get him eight wins, ten wins, and then get him fighting for a world title. I don't know if I want to do it quicker than that. So it's like, who? you know, let's say Andy Cruz is, is two years away, right? It's like, well, four times a year, let's fight him four or five times a year, you know, eight, nine fights, and then get him a world title fight. You know, so it's, it's a two-year project. I, I don't know what the plan is. Um, you know, I, I don't think they want to go the Lomachenko route and have them fight one or two fights and then fight for a world title. I just don't think that's a good blueprint. This is a different sport. You know, it's a different, you know, amateur three rounds. And, and again, I, I'm sure Andy Cruz has sparred top guys and got a lot of rounds with them. But again, this is different. You know, the, the, the amateur game, it's three rounds. It's a sprint. The pros is a marathon. You're going to be in there. You know, you're sitting there with that guy. We're going to be here for a while. You know, so it, you want to get him acclimated. He obviously has the skills and the talent, and you know he's a top-notch fighter. He will get to a world title fight. It's just a matter of when. You know, he's a little short for weight class. I think he's like five, 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 six. So he's not that much taller than Tank. Again, I imagine he's going to be at one thirty-five because that's where the money is. Unless Eddie wants to keep him at one thirty and then set him up with Joe Cordina. Down. I, I don't know, right? But one thirty-five, I, I, I think he's going to be the division with Zapata, with Isak Cruz. With Devin Haney, with Lombardi, there's so many names in that division, right? There are so many names in that division. Now we're throwing Andy Cruz in there with Keyshawn Davis. 
uh, Shakur Stevenson. So you got these Olympians, these, these highly skilled, you know, very skilled amateurs who, who, who are now taking that you know next step as a pro. This division is going to be fun, fun, fun for years to come. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. What did you think of uh, the matchroom signings? Do you like where they went? You know, I would have liked to have seen um, Regis go to top rank, but it's not going to happen. Andy Cruz, you know, and Regis Progre go in the matchroom. I, I think it's a big fit. Does Eddie Hearn get uh, Regis a big fight? It's going to be tough when they don't want to fight him, right? It's the same thing with Laura. Um, and and I think I think Cruz is good. I think it's a good place for him to be. Um, you know, I think give him those domestic level guys, he can move him along, he can keep him busy about the US um and England. I, I think Matchroom is, is a good fit for him. Um but let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Quick hits comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. It is now May 8th, 2023, from Texas to the world. Thank you. And God bless. We're going to try to get this right this time. Not like what? Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.